And so I know at times you get the urge where you like, I want to, I want my business to be here. What makes you so humble and you could just relax? On, at, like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, just life experience, experiences, excuse me. I am a humble person in general. I be wanting time to freeze, but I got niggas watching the clock. I be wanting time to freeze, but I know it's really not. I don't have time to leave, cause right now I'm on the block. I be wanting time to freeze, I be wanting time to really stop. I be wanting time to freeze, but I got niggas watching the clock. I be wanting time to freeze. Y'all know what it is. This what to do TV. This your girl, Fur Mama Fuzz House. I'm here with Lou May. And we got our special guest, the secret chef. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Chef Lee. Give it up for Chef Leah, y'all. Y'all give it up for Chef Leah. We in here today, y'all. She bought some goodies for us. You know, she doing a thing in the kitchen for us, y'all know. We get to test out some but of her food. Before we start off, y'all know how we like to kick flavor with a temple artist of the day. And this her brother, she referred for the artist, you know. But she said she met with a lot of artists, temple artists. It wasn't she just she would have picked someone else, but she said she felt like her brother was the one, so we finna play... Mitch, so, right? Yeah, Mitch. Okay. Son of his um, music, Hate It or Love It, D-Money Mitch. You feel me? Y'all go get at it on YouTube. D-Money Mitch. Everything is together. You feel me? D-Money Mitch. It's an old school Y'all feel me? Y'all get out. Tell me the phones. It's out the head, too. Changing flowers on my grandma's grave. Ask God to look over the fountain, rent this in the case. Sometimes I think about my choice, like it was never real. I want to move from New CO to Beverly Hills. Sometimes I call my mama phone to see if she an answer. Go to the grave and talk to grandma who we lost in cancer. Gotta keep her with the flowers, stay out there for hours. My home is messed when it rain, that's when I take a shower. Sometimes you gotta ask God to show you a sign. I got a picture with my nigga CJ caught his time. I got a picture with my nigga Ant caught his time. They picked CJ up from school, they gave Lahanna a dime. Eric, my feelings when I seen them niggas moment. Cause we always thought to get the money, I'm not saying that I'm a broad guy that just a skill that we all require And get the clothes and fast money that we all desire, hold up It's up the air too Y'all give it up for D-Money, you feel me? I like that song, maybe and because I know the people too <laughs> It was like, real deal, like when you know this shit Yeah, like, yeah, that shit Hate it or love it, on, <laughs> on YouTube, D-Money Mix All together, y'all go listen to that but we finna get in today because we got a special guest. Like a lot of people don't know our first two official podcasts. She was a camera girl behind that. So give it up for her for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we were very appreciative of that. So thank you. You're welcome. You feel me? We love the support and we gonna support you back. But today's episode is about her, you know. We need y'all, uh, you need any Party caterings, kids catering, whatever type of events you feel me, get at them. Chef Lee, y'all give it up for her. Just to kick off the questions or whatever, um, I want to ask, and I'm going to change it because we always ask, you know, we always like, okay, what got you into it? My question to you is who taught you how to cook? I was taught by my grandma. That's who uh, originated everything for me, like my cooking skills and everything came from my grandma. And then I've been cooking since I was little because I've always been a mom to my siblings. Um, so that's just where the whole cooking situation came from. And then I grew to love it. It became a passion. I went to school for it. And here we are. I'm trying to start a business. What school you went to? I went there? to the Art Institute of Tampa. Okay, so you got real credentials. Yes, ma'am. you completed the school, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so also, since you completed school, how long did it take you to complete that program? Um, I didn't go for my BA. I actually went for my AA. So it took me two years, but it actually took me five years because I am a I'm, I have lupus and I am a kidney transplant recipient. So I was on dialysis during the time that I was going to school. So it took me a little longer to get my degree, but I can honestly say that I got it and I did what I had to do, and here I am. Because at first you said two years, but it took you five, but do you regret the process that you had to go through, you know, during, being that it took you longer? You know how some people be like, it took me longer, but I got that. Do you regret it taking you longer? No, I don't. I, um, I appreciate it because 
it just gave me more drive. It it really You ain't on nobody's time, you on your time. Exactly. Let them know. You and on the your thing time. is, it was all about that man up there, cause that man up there is who got me through it all. Like yes, I was catching a bus, going to school, going to dialysis, like really doing this by myself and working all at the same time. They did on top of that having surgeries, on top of surgeries, like it was a it was a lot, but I got it done. Okay, my boy, you mind? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, um, okay. So you don't regret it. So where would you say you are currently at with your business? I'm a beginner, and I'm trying to get myself out there. I'm trying to get as much as exposure as I can. Um, I just want to make good food for great people. Have people have fun and eat. That's really well, my whole goal. Well, all right. You just said you're a beginner. Who doesn't start off as a beginner? I'm just saying, whatever you do, you start off at the beginning. When we did this, we started off at the right. beginning. Right, right, right. You feel me? Everybody, it's that beginning that counts. Yeah. You feel me? All about, like, just waiting and waiting ain't going to get it done. You got to start making stuff, like, on your timing. You feel me? Like you said, it took you, but you was going through things. Right. But you want your timing. You feel me? Like you said, the man above woke you up every day to continue. Mm hmm and you just want to get your food out there but my question is for the people who think it's a rush like do you feel like you got the rush on it or no no you just got to move at your own pace and just build it how you would like to build it you know what i'm saying you can't rush what do they say you cannot rush perfection Great. right Great. hello that's yeah. what it is you can't rush that you got to let that do what it do like what it do TV? Hello, baby. what it do? Hello. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So, when it comes, to, okay. So you know that you don't have to rush. I would like. Okay, the question I would like to ask is, what brought you to that level of humbleness to think about it in that aspect? Because, like you said, you've already been going through things and stuff like that. So I know at times you get the urge, but you like, I wanna, I want my business to be here. What makes you so humble and you could just relax? On, like you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, just life experience, experiences. Excuse me. I am a humble person in general. Um, I learned a long time ago, time ago that you can't rush stuff. Like I said, I was on dialysis for five years. Throughout those whole five years, I had to wait for a kidney. I learned a lot of patience doing that because it was times where I went through things that were just so tough. I ended up having having to have open heart surgery during that process. And I died twice on the table. And I'm sitting right here talking to y'all. You know what I mean? I went through a lot of things to get to where I am right now. So I have no problem with letting it, you know, slow roll. I'm cool Bare with that. Name, yeah. Bare there name. we go. Like the chick. Hello. I like that, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, funny. Your support system, like, right? how big is, like, you ain't got to say the, like, you can say a couple of people, but, like, is your support system like the people around you big like it, it, to can, be honest, it can be one it can be a thousand nah, people it can be, honest, be your family it can be whatever to be honest my support system what they say your circle is small my circle is small and one of the people that's a part of my circle is sitting right here right next to me and then my aunt who is like my mom my brother who you just listened to yeah. and then my other two siblings and my boyfriend it's like my immediate family i'm gonna say that because i don't want to keep going and going and going but yeah that's who my support system is um okay like this this my thing about support my thing on support i don't be wanting my friends or family to support me i rather them post what i'm doing or post my product right then them to buy it because them if they they can buy something but that don't mean that to me as them so, like posting it so you really believe in me after you post it so you gotta understand as a family member you can get them to buy something from you but posting and keep on like supporting you like telling they friends to come buy from you is bigger than just them buying from you right that's how i feel like that's why i be targeting my support for like telling my family and friends i don't need y'all to buy lume let's get y'all friends Let, yeah, let's see if you can be the man and get people that I don't know or your friends to buy it. You feel me? But your yeah, family members to buy it. Look at it like this, Lou. If I buy Lou Maid, that's really, <laughs> excuse me. 
that's really one of the ways that my friends gonna look into buying Lumi right. because they see me with it on and a lot of I don't have like a big big support base now to be speaking on support but guess what the few people that do support me right here lead a chef she gonna be one person like oh nay I like that and guess what she fuck with you so she's a she's a yeah. she fuck with you off the strength of me you get what I'm saying yeah. but she fuck with you just because you funny and shit yeah. too though but the point is you get what I'm saying like she gonna support because she know I stand on business behind supporting you that's what type of support you want to have around real deal it's um, people just all in a circle supporting we finna um take a little break y'all so we gonna come back on in 10 a minute <laughs> Back with it, this is what it do TV. You know I'm your boy Lou May, rocking with my girl Fur Mama. We got our special guest in here, Chef Lynn. You know how I do that too. Uh, the, before the break, we were just talking about the like the beginning of her um journey, but in the support system, but now we finna start kicking flavor. Um business. Like when you did your first event or like your catering party, did you think they really like did you feel like they really wanted to tell you like damn like they believe in you or how well i've never done anything with catering i've always delivered food and that's catering though oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a still form of like catering, catering. Okay. but excuse me i'm sorry you feel me yeah you just taught me something yeah, that's still a, a now nah, this still a form of cat you can make the food instead that's still catering for the party you yeah. feel me you ain't just because you ain't set up the party, you set up the food. Right. You feel me? You catered the party. Well, um. Like when you did you do a wedding? You no, cooked I did some chicken. You did, oh, excuse me. You did something. But you cooked something oh, for somebody. The, the lady wanted to try, she wanted to try my food out. That's a form of catering. Yeah, oh, that's okay. catering. Yeah, because she ordered like a pan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, catering. That's catering. Oh, okay. It catering, so you gotta think about it. With your business, I'm gonna step in and say this because I know you had a question to answer. Don't think small on your your actions with your business. Yeah. Everything you doing is big. Like when you do something, even though it may not seem as big as you want it, like how you ain't just think that was a form of catering. You yeah. just deliver the whole pan up. Catering is in lump sums, basically, right? Yeah. 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 You deliver the whole pan. You, mean, you ain't it. just take her two pieces yeah. of chicken. You took her a pan. Yeah. She paid you delivery and she paid you for your product. Right. You feel me? That's catering. You catered so to you, us. He was, you ain't, what they say, think big, you think it's small. Right. Yeah, we, don't, we don't think small on what it do TV. We want all our guests, we want y'all to see y'all potential because we see y'all potential, potential make us see our full potential. Right. You feel me? You can answer it. Because <laughs> now you, now you got to think about it. How did you, okay, so let me rework that. Okay, so he asked you basically. Do you think they wanted you that way? You just basically delivered the food, but how do you think she, her, what was her review? How do you think she felt about it? Or you can actually keep it real about your experience because keep, I, as, your, as me being your friend, keep it real about your experience. <laughs> just keep it real. Um, for the most part, I've always gotten like good feedback. I still, like I had stopped cooking for a while um, for some health stuff, but I still have people like, asking me when I'm going to make dishes, when I'm going back in the kitchen, when I'm going to, you know, put my food out there and stuff like that. So I, people been begging, but I ain't been delivering. So I think it's time for me to get back on that. Because I have the potential. I just ain't pushing it and I got to. So definitely you got to, you just admit it yourself. Okay, I got to do this. Now it's time to put it in action. Right. And that's what I'm doing here today providing yourself with that exposure like just also opening up them doors like okay now i'm talking about my business they know the background story of me a little bit they get to know me a little bit but it's like we gonna get you there we gonna get help get you some exposure with this video this is a start this is like marketing yes this is promoting your product and not being afraid you get what i'm saying because it takes a lot of courage to come on our podcast you know us but the point is yeah. that to come on our podcast and talk about your personal stuff like okay hey i'm a lupus warrior hey i fought through this and right. put people in your game room and then also let them know hey but i'm here to do this right like so you doing good i don't know how to get that right i might <laughs> press the wrong thing but definitely i'm gonna give your flowers on that 
I'm looking at the food, so we're going to dig in soon, definitely. I'm looking at it. It looks good. And what kind of what kind of dip is that? It's a um it's just a regular queso dip with um shrimp and ground beef. Listen, this is how we finna get you now. <laughs> Cause you just blew me. You just said this a regular. regular. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing. And he caught it too. Like ain't you ain't just nothing. blew me with that. Like ain't nothing, ain't nothing, nothing regular, regular about what you doing. You feel Stop me? talking about it in that manner. This because your you gonna business. keep you feel living me? it like that. You, yeah. What if you run into a millionaire and he tried out? He's like, oh, this ain't no regular dip. You feel me? Right. To him, you feel me? To how you said. That's why we say we make our guests feel. Not just we're not just making you feeling special on just about yourself. We make you feel special because we know your full potential. Right. When you get like when you turn up, we turn up more. You feel me? Yeah. And that's what we try to do. We have a good time on what to do TV. Yeah, because it don't look regular to me. It look you said shrimp and ground beef enough. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. <laughs> and we got the blue and red Doritos. Don't play with us. We got it going on over here. And what kind of chicken is that? Those are ranch um ranch wings. Those ranch wings. Party wings. Them, them get the party started. Okay. <laughs> get the party started and get it going. That's oh. good. Anything you want to ask us or anybody want to shout out? Um, not right now. I want y'all to eat. You want us to eat? I want y'all to eat. Uh, now, but I had a question. Um, you and your brother D Money Mitch relationship. How is that like? <laughs> That's my best friend. <laughs> like, um, like when he said he start, he wanted to rap. What you told him? Do it. Do it, but get you some education too. You could do the same. You could do both of them. That way you'll have something to fall back on, no matter what. At least you could say you tried. And that's all, all I used to tell him. And he's still going to this day, and I'm still gonna be there to hoot and holler and yell in the stands. So. Yeah. Supportive. Do you got any other siblings that you close with? Oh yeah, I'm close with all my siblings. They're my babies. They're my kids. How many siblings do you have? There's three of them. Okay. It's my brother D. Mitch, my sister Kiara, and then my brother Lo. His name is Angelo. That's my baby brother. That's the baby. Okay. Everybody growing up on me. <laughs> Okay. Um, relationship status. What is your relationship status? That's just a question we like to throw that throw out there for every <laughs> guest. My relationship status is I'm taking I got me a man. What's up? Y'all heard that she got her man. You know that's just one question we like to ask the guest. Yeah. You feel me? We get a we get a we get a nice reaction after we drop the video from their girlfriend. You feel me? It, it's not a setup. We we not setting nobody up. We just. Something we asking them. You forgot to ask Demon that. Yeah, we did. We yeah. Oh damn, nah. We oh man. <laughs> hey, y'all got wait. The, wait, the, we still got another part of that drop. You feel me? But we finna um go ahead and try our food. You know, shout out the rope game to him. We got the thanks for that water always. You feel me? Y'all go get that. But we finna dig in the Chef Lee food. You feel me? Let's go ahead. I like blue Doritos. So, you open this one. Yeah. I'm, I'm really finna switch gears, y'all. You know, bring Bam on, you feel me? So he can get a little, you know, taste the food. Yeah. Taking a bite, y'all. It looks cheesy. It has. I could definitely see the onions and stuff in it. It looks good. Let's see. And it's still hot. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's real good. When are you selling this? Sunday, this Sunday actually. Okay, so you're selling this this Sunday. And do you got a price on a bowl like this size? Yeah, it's seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Cause you you still get the two bags. You get two bags of chips and two drinks. <clears throat> two bags of chips and two drinks. 
with a bowl like this for seven dollars. Yeah. This lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. Get some more, enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> Not every day you get a nice little dip with a little <laughs> some burrito with it now. Let's see, you gotta forgive me now. Ooh, it's good, ain't it? Yeah, man. It's good. It's definitely tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. So, mm -hmm. what would you like to rate it? dip? Mm-hmm. It is a nice. Solid nine. Okay, I'm gonna give it a ten. ten. It's very flavorful. I like it. Yes, it's very flavorful, and it's like cheesy. It's just right. Let me go ahead and get another one. You all right? This bam the cameraman. By the way, y'all. <laughs> what up, folks? How y'all doing today? Well, I'm happy y'all enjoyed it. This is good. Now I'm ready to try the wings. That got me ready. Mm -hmm. She got the red. She got the what? What you say? The wings? Ranch, Ranch wings. wings. Ranch wings. Yeah. Nice. They look good. Party kicking wings now. Get these. Get a shot of these wings here. These wings look real good. They look. Did you? How did you fry them up? Yes, ma'am. I season them overnight, like let them marinate, and then I go ahead and just fry them without no flour or nothing, just fry them and then get my seasonings and, you know, shake them up. The thing is, is that what I like is, see, I don't, fly, I got an air fryer, so I don't fry with fly, I mean, flour anymore. Right. So I was able to tell that it wasn't like. Yeah. But I like this type of texture on my fried chicken. I don't like it to be too hard. Right. Like with the grease, it just yeah. seems to get very, very hard. So I guess you did it with the grease. Mm -hmm. But flour, frying it without the flour yeah, causes it. Yeah, just season it. Yeah, right. and just throw it in the fryer. Okay. You cook these. Chef mm. Lee put nice. all of this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. It tastes like lemon pepper. You got lemon pepper. Mm-mm. They ranch. Oh, ranch. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want to taste it. Let's try one of them things. <laughs> Damn, you want one? Let me see you. Yeah, it's you. Don't leave with that. You're welcome. You ain't want to try your own wing? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm letting y'all get y'all. I yeah, she did her thing. <laughs> she did her thing, huh? Everybody said she did her thing. <laughs> Y'all better tap in. Mm -hmm. The chicken not greasy. It's just right. And the chicken got a, a lot of meat on the bone. Tender. I ain't gonna tell it up how I normally would. That ain't right on camera. But the point is, it's definitely. I told you they the party starters. Mm. Yeah, this, these two right here. So what else do you normally cook to start party? Um, I normally cook like so big soul food meals. I like on Sundays I really like some hard stuff to start my week off. Start your week off. What you mean by that? Just make sure I have a good week. Eat good on Sunday. Keep it going. <laughs> okay. What is your normal routine like during the week? Um, I decided to go back to school. So I go to school in the morning, and then I go to work in the um in the evening, and then that's about it. <laughs> okay. What you going to school for? I'm going to school to be an MA. What's the MA do? A medical assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost though. That's what I want to do. We are the people that you see before you see the doctor. Um, when you're at the doctor's office, I take your vitals. 
I um, go over your medical history. I go over um, your medicines with you before the doctor sees you. You tell me if you have anything going on so that I can relay the message to the doctor. And if the doctor needs to administrate any medicine for you and you're in the office, I can do so. Okay. Play a big part. You know what I'm saying? You write along the doctor, giving them all the tools and knowledge they need so they can do what they need to do. Um, that's major. But you just mentioned that you want to do nursing. I do, yeah. I want to honestly take it as far as I can. If I can. I want to take it to becoming um, a PA, which is a physician's assistant. And what they do? They, um, they are up under like... <clears throat> They up under like a um, like the doctor themselves. Like I can, I can do exactly what a doctor do. I just don't have the name. Okay. I get what you're saying. Let me see. Let me see. I put it in the yeah. Oh. So who um ain't taught you? Who taught you how to cook? <laughs> My don't, don't give me the secret. You don't gotta give me the recipe, but this I just wanna know who, who taught you. Who, who, and somebody had to give you some type of some type of lesson to, to, cause the wings was knocking that dip is rocking. Yeah. <laughs> My grandma taught me. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. And she cooking this um Sunday, she said. Okay. I'm making this right here. What y'all see. Yeah. That they tasting right here. This is what I'm making, so Come get your song. Well, you gonna kill the crowd. <laughs> Killing it right now. Her mama had to go and get us the double back to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely, because it's just that good. It is, man. I love a good dip on my chips. Man. What's been going on with you, Bam? Man, it ain't nothing too much lately. A lot of, you know, a lot of people been doing a lot of crazy stuff. You know, watching the news, people going to schools, killing me, mm. and stuff like that. So it's just, I've been, I've been in action news a lot, so I've just been watching that because I don't got, I don't got the internet and stuff. Like that. All I don't feel about stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like cable, but I've been watching news. But that. lately ain't nothing going on. I've been going to work, standing, going back to the house, trying to keep it flow, trying to make money, more money. Mm. You know, get on better jobs. And that's it, try to get my license. So I need that to get mobile, get around. And I, you know, so. Driving is a privilege, they said. Yeah. You gotta have your driver's license. Yeah. I believe mm -hmm. you, like, you, you gotta earn that. That's what we gotta earn. You can't just get out there and drive. Yeah, because people be fools on the road. Yeah. Oh, take lives. So what we're going to go ahead and do is wrap it up for a moment. We'll be right back. Yeah, we back. You know, we just had Bam on try, trying to dip. You know, thanks, Leah, for that. You feel me? <laughs> Give it up. You know. um, an, um, another question we like to ask on What to Do TV. But, all right, let's say you was to blow up tomorrow on your cooking, um, in your cooking career. What else besides cooking do you see yourself, like, what else type of career, like, or things that you see yourself into, like, than just cooking? Um, <clears throat> being in the medical field and, um, being in write books and, um, start a poetry book as well. What do you want to write poetry about? Just life experiences. Okay. One quick question. Do you want, what kind of um category do you want to put your food in? Like, do you cook a versatile like amount of different things or are you going to stick to like soul food? You get what I'm saying? Are you going to stick to like one thing with your food? Like, are you going to go for a certain thing? Well, I'm always going to do soul food, but I know how to do other things, but <clears throat> I would like to start cooking other, I guess, other dishes and things like that. Um, 
once I, I guess, learn more about their cultures and things like that. Um, another question I had on my, um, stuff you do besides when you're not working, cooking, like, what you do outside of, like, for fun life, your fun life, like, on a daily, rather it's sleep, you know, hang out with your boyfriend, I don't know, because I, I sit in the house. It'd be too hot outside for me to be going anywhere and doing anything with anybody. Then they always doing something crazy. If you go to their clubs, I ain't got time for that. I stay my ass in the house for us. I may go out to eat, every blue moon, things like that, but I don't, I don't be with all that crazy stuff. Before we get out of here, we got a little game we like to play, you know, a little question game. If you can pick one, you feel me? Okay. Or you can pick both. Um, Tampa Turkey music or Tampa Cranky music? I would say Tampa Cranky music because it puts you back in that nostalgic time where you was going to the teen club and you got bitches in there joking for real. Like, right. real deal getting that shit on. <laughs> um, Kaya or Trina? I don't know. I can't. I have to say Trina, but I fuck with Kai. I ain't gonna leave. You could say it both if you wanted to, but <laughs> Trina, what's her answer, y'all? A five star restaurant or a home cooked meal? Home cooked meal, please. Why? Why? Okay, elaborate more on that. I'm a chef. Uh, that's All right. my my home my home cooked meal is gonna be elaborate. I don't need no five star restaurant. That's just for fun. You go there for fun. Natural hair or wigs? Both. I'm a dreadhead, baby. Okay, okay. Um, nails or makeup? Nails. I don't need no makeup. <laughs> Younger dudes or older? Both. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Gotta have their head on straight. My, my oh, bad, my bad, my bad. You Go can, ahead. Um, Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Cardi B. Um, I got two more. Um, Hennessy or Doucet? Doucet. Um, last one. BMW or Mercedes Benz? BMW. And la um, last one. Not I mean work from home job or go to the building? Like go to the building. Damn, you don't like work from home? You know, that shit be tiring. After so long, you be running out your door every day after you got a clock high. You be like, damn, right. bitch, I'm tired of being here, bitch. <laughs> I've been here all day. <laughs> bitch, work. And sleep. <laughs> and get work. up. <laughs> um, wanna, um, so, yeah, so, you know, this what it do, TV. This is for a moment for us. I was checking out. I'm Lou May. You know your boy Lou May. I got my girl. I mean, I got my boy Bam, the cameraman, you. back there. Shout out, shout out to the little girl, <laughs> to the little girl. Y'all don't know her name, but her name is Kayani. But that, but my name for her is the little girl. You feel me? <laughs> shout out for her on the camera today. <laughs> but most importantly, shout out to our guest that came on here with her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank y'all for allowing me to come on. No, thank, no, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Like, cause like I, like we tell everybody, you got a career. Like, it's okay to work a nine to five, but you got a business, and we basically try to get. We want to get you out there. You feel me? Right. And tell them. Tell everybody about you. So, like I said, if you need any type of catering to any type of event. Chef Lee, her Instagram. My Instagram is the Secret Chef. Twitter. I don't have a Twitter. I have a Facebook, and my Facebook is just my name, which is Leah Williams. Okay. You got a YouTube channel? No, I haven't started one yet. You gotta you make work your, on that. You need right. to make your YouTube channel so you can put your food up there. You feel me? Right. Like this post has been on your YouTube channel. Yeah. You feel me? 
But there you have it for what it's going to be. I've been wanting time to freeze, but I got niggas watching the clock. I've been wanting time to freeze, but I know it's really not. I don't have time to leave, cause right now I'm on the block. I've been wanting time to freeze, but I got niggas watching the clock. I've been wanting time to freeze, but I know it's really not. I don't have time to leave, cause right now I'm on the block. I be wanting time to freeze, but I got niggas watching the clock. I be wanting time to freeze, but I know it's really not. I don't have time to leave, cause right now I'm on.